Good evening ladies and gents, Guess Gex here, doing a bit of a game that is actually a bit of a hidden gem. I've never even heard of this before, Cold Winter on PS2. I played a couple of levels of it and it's actually really good, I've got to say. I mean, a lot of the games that I tend to play are a bit terrible, but um, this is actually pretty good. Let me just crank that down, here we go. We want a, a, we want a new one. We want a new one. Sterling. Um, oh, we can change. Oh, we can change our name. Let's change our name. I didn't know this was a thing. Um, yeah, see, I played. I say played a little bit of this. Um, Gex. There we go. Old school, sort of weird alphabet, alphabetized keyboard. Oh, we can be Sterling or Kit. Not being funny, but we kind of have to play as that. I think she's forgotten her bra by the looks of it. Um, aim assist. Yep. Yeah, vibration. Blah 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 blah. There we go. I wonder if that'll change, because in the game you get rescued, uh, yep, yeah. uh, sorry, you get rescued by the woman, so I wonder if when you play this time, whether you get rescued by the, the man, I wonder, I don't know, anyway, yeah, it's a kind of little first person shooter, um, as I say, I'd never even heard of this before, but it, it's surprisingly, surprisingly fun, anyway, so yeah, as I say, there is a fair bit of the old film clips in this, uh, backstory. Nice. Now, I'm interested because I'm thinking that we might be actually having to break into the prison to free him. In the other part, I was the prisoner and got, like, broken out. The game started as I was being broken out of prison. But I wonder if we've actually got to break in. So there could actually be two different games on this, on this disc. Which would be quite interesting if it is. It'd be like the whole Resident Evil 2 thing of two different scenarios that kind of overlap. One word. Information. You have control of it. You drive the deal. The other side has control of it. You take it from them. It's like a game of global marbles. Information passes from hand to hand. Stolen. Given. Traded. Misplaced. Found. The kid who has the most marbles at the end of the game wins. Simple. My name is Andrew Sterling. My game is over. Not bad water um, visuals there for a PS2 game. Yeah, so essentially it's a bit like Manhunt. We're sort of, you know, on our way to be executed. And we get saved at the last minute. But, um, yeah, so it's not bad because it's got a kind of basic physics module. Module? Machine, engine, whatever you want to call it, where you basically you can pick up and move objects and you can create cover and things from tables and crates and things like that. And it's got loads of side objectives, like you can craft things. Oh yeah, this actually... I've got a feeling this gets quite graphic in parts. Pretty sure it is an 18. Yeah, it is an 18, so I say it gets quite graphic in parts. It's fine. Yeah, look at that. He's had some damage done. Oh! Yeah, and you can craft things like lockpicks and uh, molotovs and things like that, and then you can sort of choose when to use them. It's quite good. And you can search all corpses and things like that. Oh, me finger! That's me texting finger. Actually, it wouldn't be. Who texts using their finger? Ah, oh, look at that. The only thing this game is lacking, as you'll see, is it hasn't got an aim down sight thing, which is annoying. You've got a kind of mild zoom thing going on, but...
Hey, about six headquarters. Vauxhall Chris. No, no. no deals then. Uh huh. Well, I guess. Consider it clean. At six. Okay. Be seeing you. Yeah. So we're supposedly dead. They think we're dead. MI6 has cut the strings, cut the kite strings, and we're off on our own. It's quite a good first little level, this, actually. Oh yeah, and you can pick up armour, a bit like Siphon Filter. The more damage you do to an enemy in the sort of chest area, the more damage their armour is, so when you pick it up, it'll be less effective. So if you can headshot somebody, they'll have, like, you know, full undamaged armour that you can use, so... I'll say like siphon filter. There she is. By the way, female operatives are always like cat suits and stuff like that. They're uh, yeah. I wonder why. I think I think I'm pretty sure that we are still playing as the dude, even though I changed the character model. But I think that may be just for multiplayer, because this has actually got like a split screen multiplayer thing on it. Uh, but it's just like competitive sort of stuff, so I don't know. But yeah, look at this. Lian Sing. Here we go. We're going to start some action soon. Andrew. Here we go. Yeah, so we got it. Christ, Andrew, you look terrible. I can Cheers. That's what she said. No problem, love. Especially in that catsuit. Alright, so we got to follow this. Now follow it here. Yep, I did. And down. Here. Yep. Good. Now up. Our vision will sort itself out in a minute when we, we use a med kit. Ever the silver tongue. You haven't changed. You really have to hurry. Here. Clothes, a medipack, in your comms, a silent sign millimeter, and a data bomb. You're an angel. You know it. Patch your phone. You know it. Good. I've had enough of Chang's hospitality for one year. Uh, yeah, so we've basically got an infinite med pack. We just gotta wait for it to recharge or something. I think it says something like Med pack never runs out, use it as often as you like. Yeah. I think says shush, shush. This is where we split. I have other business that needs taken care of. So I see. Your handiwork, I take it. Unfortunate but unavoidable. You may I mean, he broke, she broke his neck. I don't know why there's all that blood everywhere. I really do have another job in Chang, though, as do you. This other job. Standard procedure. Locate the server room on the first floor, delete your records, and then upload the data bomb you'll find in your pocket. Data bomb? Propagate quickly and pretty much destroy everything on the network. We don't want anyone coming after you once we're out. When you're done, I'll guide you out. Stay in contact using the in comms unit I gave you. Understood. With RV at the main gates exiting the compound. Good luck. Allie! Like love. Yeah, and you can search corpses and things like that, of course, as well. So we're hopefully going to get a bit more. Oh yeah, wire cutters. Here we go. Press the select button to combine items. How do we do that? Oh, here we go. Uh, so we need some metal, a metal sprue, and then we'll be able to. Oh, my one gripe with this, you've got, uh, you've, well, two gripes. You haven't got an aim down sight, as I said, but you've also got to hold the crouch button. There's no way of changing it to toggle either, which is really annoying. But anyway, um, so she's hightailed it out of there. No, you see, we need a key for this one. It's kind of pointless trying to be... Oh, yeah, and also, look, bloody footprints that I left because I walked through the, the, the blood. Um, I forgot what... Oh, yeah, you've... you've um, you get some... Yeah, you get some decent amount of ammo in this. But, yeah, it's really pointless trying to be stealthy in this. Here we go, I'll show you this, this thing. Whee! And you can just... There we go. There we go, nice. You see, look, one shot and dead. And they take so long to. There we go. They take so long to actually target you. But um, I'm not compl certainly not complaining. Uh, there's various bits of intel dotted about. Generally, you can't go in there. You can shoot the prisoners, but obviously we're not going to. Search. It, I love the way. Yeah, damaged armor. There we go. Um, you immediately get flies. 
Um, buzzing around the corpses, which is, is kind of random, but anyway. we got some keys. So, I think... Is there not... Hang on, what's this on here? Oh, and more keys. I presume we can't use them on... No. But, uh, yeah, we saw a locked door around here. There's a sort of sprint, but it's not very good. Um... Again, so there's these little bonus little bits you can do, but I say I quite like it. Come on! There we go. Eat. There we go. Most of these lot are a bit pretty easy. They don't tend to wear much in the way of armour, and they're not very good shots and all that. But um, the enemies later on, they get a lot better. I've only played, i say, a couple of levels, but... Grab some intel. Grenades, please. <coughs> what was that? I don't want to read that. I want to... Oh, you see, we need to find some metal before we do any of that. Oh, it's kind of pointless doing that, to be fair, but anyway. Right, we're going to go super stealthy. They'll never, they'll never know we're here. Oh, what's this? Jim. Andrew, where are you? On the first floor. Oh. Nice. They will try and set alarms off if you um, fanny about too much. Oh, she's got some more keys. Oh, hello. I've got a feeling he can't hit me because I'm hiding behind that bar bit, but I could be wrong. This gun, I love the sound of this gun. Makes that kind of noise that you always kind of... That James Bond kind of zipping sound. Okay, didn't get any, we're still looking for stuff so we can craft things. No. Again, the flies, they're so, they're so quick. Is that more keys? No. Oh, what was that? Tip over. There we go. So we create cover. It always goes kind of the other way to the way you're facing. Okay, we can't do that. You can move. Yeah, you can't actually go in there. As I say, you can move stuff out of the way there, but we're not going to. Nice. Oh, hello. I think. Oh. Um, can I talk to him? Constipated guard, I love it. Okay, we'll leave him alone. I mean, he probably... He probably would have killed us if he had the chance. Heard that. Hang on. No, I thought that was him then. Oh, the armory. Yeah, we need to create, We need a lockpick for that. I don't think you can shoot the lock off. Let me just see. I'm 90%... Oh. No. Okay, I just thought maybe, maybe, because this game does seem to have quite a few kind of random extras in it. Oh, hello. Nice. The kind of... Oh, oh, hello. What happened there? What the hell? Sorry, my controller had a bit of a weird one then. Nice. What's it? Okay, sorry, I don't know what's going on there. The controller was having a bit of a weird one. I've had some problems with this controller. Unfortunately, it's the same controller I had when I was at uni back in, like, 2004. So, it's a little bit ropey, to put it mildly, but, uh... Nothing in there. Okay. Shouldn't really... What the... F? Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. I have got another controller that I might have to switch to, but it'd be a shame, because I say this controller's kind of... It's going to be a family heirloom. Oh. What are you... Hang on. Sorry, I'm having real issues at the moment with this. Come on, get out of that! What are you freaking doing? Sorry about this. Okay, I've taken the controller out and put it back in, and fingers crossed that might help. That's really annoying because I say this, this, this has been so. I've had it for so long. You notice we haven't had to use a med kit at all recently, or like since the very start, to be honest. Yeah, so you won't in in. Oh hello. Is he alive? He's not anymore. Why was he just slumped over his desk? Okay, what the... Oh, drunk guard! Okay. Again, he's probably one that you don't have to kill. But anyway, we did! We did anyway. Oh. Do we... Is, oh, we might as well search him just in case. He might have some wire or something on. Let's see if... Wrong button. Let's see if we can... No, we still can't create anything there. Now this, weak floorboards crunch. Checkpoint saved. 
Um, so, this is obviously where this poor, poor guy was. Oh, I didn't realise they'd come in. Again, it would probably... Oh, hello. Nice, more intel. It would probably be more important to create uh, to create cover if you're on playing on a harder difficulty. But as I say, we're just, we're just powering through this. But yeah, it's quite, I do quite like this, gotta say. Nice. Somebody give me some wire. Oh, I saw that. Where did he go? This must be it. Shh. Let's see if I can get a melee kill. Nope. You can, sort of. Is he actually dead? I suppose I just whacked him in the face a few times with a, a pistol. I guess that probably would kill him. Nice! Uploading it, Windows 92. Done. Done. Okay, the controller seems to be behaving now. I've got a feeling it's at the other end, unfortunately. It's the bit that plugs into the elbows, oh, into the uh, console. Nice! Any more for any more? Yeah, I can't believe how keen those flies are. They love it. But, uh, yeah, oh. I can't open it. Is it just the one? I thought there would have been more. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I don't think, unfortunately, we can shoot through cover. Pretty sure. Ah, oh, yeah, we need a lockpick. Yeah, we still can't make it. I could have sworn by this point in the game we were able to make lockpicks. It's annoying. Very annoying. Maybe it's just random. I don't know. Maybe it's just like you pick them up randomly. I don't know. Press the L2 to crouch. Yeah. Also, it took me ages to figure out there's a jump button on this, but... You see, I want to go in the armory. Kitchens. What we got? Anything to eat in the kitchens? I doubt it. So like, Hello. We're not going to kill him. No, it's quite... Oh, hello, what was that? Chilled meat. Would we eat chilled meat like that? Oh. Om nom nom. Oh. No, we can't even pick it up. Okay. Now, I know that there are people out here, and we're going to try and tag them from in here, because it's just easy to do from here. There we go, so that's those three. There's also a guy on a mounted gun that we have to be a little bit careful of. Requires quite precise shooting for this, but there are more, I think, come out. There's one. This is the thing, I'd love an aim down sight at this point. Or a scope would be nice. No, stop running! I think... You gimp! Pretty sure that the crosshair changes colour depending on how much health they've got. So it goes from like yellow and then it goes red when they're nearly dead. You prickhead, stand still! Oh! Right, finally. God damn. Oh, there's some more. Curious as to what's going on. Thankfully, they don't seem to be able to hit me out here. Which is odd. We do get an assault rifle in a minute as well. Come on. There we go. Yay! I'm okay, Kim. All right, mate. And I think that's the end of the first level. I think, yeah, there we go. End level, that's how we did. 33% accuracy. We killed every enemy here. We found all three weapons. Were there three? Oh, yeah. Intel, only three of five. And you found one combined item. That was annoying. What the hell happened to the, the wire? Barish. We've got them. Uh huh. Cleaned six months ago by MI6 for a job as well. MI6. Didn't get to the authority records. Only reason we got them. Comes on it. I'm expecting delivery within the next few days. You know she will. They've got a history. He'll be as good as gold. Aye. 
No, no identity, no family, no records. Our man doesn't exist. Invisible and perfectly disposable. Kim will scrub any remaining records on the way out. Sure he'll do it. We've just come even again and he's clean out of options. Aside from retirement, we're as good as it gets. Farik? No, no sign of him. I've been scouring all reports, but nothing. Typically greasy. I'll send them after Salah. Should rattle the cage enough to turn something out. Aye, okay, until then. Nice. So, we got the next little bit. Oh yeah, what's the loading bar? I think it goes mental at the end of this. Every time the loading bar fills up, it just goes bananas, I think. Yeah. Like, what's it doing? Why is it having to keep reloading stuff? Kim, I'm through. Okay, Andrew. To Exfil, we need to RV at the gates in the outer courtyard of the prison. Between you and those gates are two smaller courtyards, the catering wing of the prison, and about a dozen guards. You may need to deal with them head on. I've chosen the catering wing as it's likely to be quiet at this time of night, but take care. The guards in the outer courtyards are better trained than the goons you've been dealing with so far. Take every precaution necessary. Once you're at the entrance to the catering wing, radio in and I'll talk you through. Kim out. Goons, that's a bit rude, isn't it? Um, again, I mean, it, it's, yeah, this is this starts off ish stealthily, but that doesn't last very long. In fact, within the first shot, pretty much. Yeah, because unfortunately these lot can take a bit more punishment, as you can see. Fucking hell. We're going to get mobbed by several of them in a minute. In fact, you probably hear footsteps. Here we are. There we are. Nice! I do quite like the ragdoll physics on these. I don't know why I'm still crouching, to be honest. There he is. Oh, you gimp. Oh, nice. Did he actually shoot? I think his shots actually knocked the door a bit. Well, maybe not. I don't know. The door seemed to... Oh! That was good. I actually stuck my head out before I finished... Oh, my God. There's loads. Before I finished reloading. Are you seriously going to stay there? Jesus! Let's hide. Hide! i tell you what this reminds me a little bit of. A combination of two games. Sort of, actually. I don't know if it actually does. I was going to say, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Black. Which was an awesome little game, but also the kind of ragdoll and heads exploding in that reminds me a little bit of the Punisher. Oh, 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 we got, we got, I think we can make something now. Oh, you gimp! No, we can almost make, um, we, we can also almost make Molotovs. Oh, Jesus! Where did he come from? Showered in his brains as well. Yeah, you got the armor gauge underneath where you are. Underneath, what am I talking about? Underneath, you got oh, you got like a green bar, a blue bar, and the blue bar is hardly moving even when I get shot. That was good. Nice. Had a sort of Pulp Fiction moment there where I shot everywhere except at him. He's chucking grenades at me. Do you mind? Do you mind? I didn't say. Oh, hang on, it's not a grenade. It's a smoke grenade. Even less effective. Look at that on the wall behind him. Eek! I don't know where that is. Damaged armour. Can I open this? Oh, electronically locked. We have to leave that for the moment. Actually, you might be able to... Oh, hello. Nice, okay. Well, that's quite simple. We are going to have to deal with him at some point anyway, so... And bottles, we use them for Molotovs when we find some petrol. I was forgetting that I wasn't on the silence pistol anymore. Where the hell's he gone? Uh oh. Surprise, motherfucker! Oh, jeez! Benny. Where did he come from? Hang on. Here we go. Let's, this is lockpicking. Nice. I mean, there was at least a foot between him and the um, the actual weapon, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Keys. Nice. Yeah, you see, if you've, if you've ever played this, let me know what you thought of it, because I'm quite impressed, actually. What was that? Oh. I believe it's through here. We're going to start lobbing some grenades about in a minute. Oh, 
Oh crap, wrong button. Oh, actually, that helped with those other boxes, sort of. Oh! Jesus, come on! I literally can't, can't got a clue what's going on in there. We just hope for the best. Dead riot guard. There sh should be. Oh, hello. No, he, oh. The uh, okay. Right, Commander, nice. Now, I'm going to swap for this, um, because I want to keep the suppressed pistol, just because I think it's really cool, even though it would make more sense, really, to, um, nice, to keep the, um, hang on a minute, I'm sure I saw some more shotgun ammo somewhere, uh, it would make more sense to keep the assault rifle, but F it, I'm going to stick with this. Okay, they're the wire cutters, I'm sure I saw, there it is, yeah. And this gun is a bit like the one in Soldier of Fortune. It is a bit of a beast. Limbs and things come off when you use this. What in the crap? Where did he come from? Frickin' hell. Okay. Not a clue where he came from, but anyway, okay, I don't know if I walk past him or something. Ooh, nice. I like the way you're sh shouting. Look at the mess on the wall behind. No wonder this is an 18. I love it. Spreading pools of blood. Uh, there we go. Run! Boom! I mean, not a bad physics model at all, I have to say. Not bad at all. Hey. Oh! That may be too far. May not be far enough. Oh, I think I got him. I did. Eek. Eek. Alright, mate. Sneaky. Boom! That was patented peekaboo move there. Do you have a visual on the heli? I don't. You? I don't. This bit would probably be trickier on hard difficulty. Kim, do you have a visual on the heli? Repeat, I need a location on that heli. Nothing. I can still, there's still gunshots. Here it comes. We need to move over just a tiny bit more. And this is the sort of equivalent of a boss fight. Jeez, actually, it does pack a bit of a punch, I have to say. Where's that? I think there's somebody else shooting at us, actually, but... Way! It should explode any minute now. There we go. Nice! A lot easier to take out than that bloody helicopter in Siphon Filter. Yeah, boom. Got you, you fucker. <gasps> Language. What the F is shooting? I know there are people through here shooting. Oh yeah, actually our guns are going to be next to useless at this point, but anyway. Really? Really? Ow! Do you mind? Yeah, I think if you rapid fire, that's just basically doesn't help at all. See if we can get the jump on these lot. So we sprint across here. Don't need either of those. I might, just because I think we're probably going to get new weapons. Try the Molotov. We Nowhere near close enough. Good job. Oh, that was her. Anyway, whoops, that wouldn't have been ideal anyway if I'd set her on fire. Eek! Can I get through there without getting set on fire? Nice! Done! Again, 33% accuracy. Enemies killed, again, 100%.
Found all weapons, secondary objectives, missed two intels, but that's not too bad. Right, I'm going to end the first part here. Uh, in, well, I'm going to do the next part in a minute, but um, as I say, I do like this game. I don't know if this is going to be the end. Oh, you got a D? I just noticed that. Freaking hell, D, that's pretty bad, isn't it? Um, yeah, we'll see where the game takes us next, because I know that you go to different parts of the world, so hopefully we get a change of scenery coming up next, uh, unless we've got to carry on breaking out. Who knows? But anyway, thank you very much for watching this part. I hope you enjoyed. Take care of yourselves, and I shall see you again very soon.